tree has finally finished growing! And I have absolutely no idea what to really expect of it, other than the fact that I know that apparently, if we go ahead and we actually get ourselves some of the mystic tree syrup, then I can make the Noodle Doodle Summoning Circle with the treasure totem, which will actually apparently summon a ring of treasure spots from our little Noodle Doodlers with a little bit of hardwood, a little bit of moss, and quite a bit of mystic syrup. And also, I just realized I should have collected a lot more moss during the actual days of of the mossy season because if you haven't noticed my friends it's winter yes noodle doodles indeed it is winter <laughs> so hello everyone and welcome back to the valley of stars where as you can see now that winter has arrived it's kind of snowy Ooh, snow yam hey now i could actually keep our little junimo friends busy if they don't mind coming out in the cold by getting some winter root crystal fruit and crocus i think leah yeah, Leah was this morning when I talked to her before coming out uh, to visit with all of you, of course. She was actually talking about how delicious the crystal fruit is. I don't know if she happens to like that, but good to know, good to know. And my mystic tree. I'm gonna be honest. I accept, kind of expected something maybe a little bit more mystical, but I'm sure we can make sure that it, um, you know, it, it looks as mystic as I, I, I was expecting at some point in the future. You know, the same point in the future when I finally am able to go ahead and make Rose Stone look like Rose Stone again. She's kind of covered in mud considering she's a black horse with a white mask. Yeah, we're going to work on that. But right now we have plenty to work on and keep us busy, including carrying around Leapfrog. Look at Leapfrog go. Oh my gosh, it, I, I can't help it. I tried all sorts of other names and right now Leapfrog is just the only thing that I want to call this adorable little, little frog. Oh my gosh. And I wonder what we could actually do with them at the mini or at the anvil where you can reforge trinkets to randomize stats. What does that mean? Like, I don't want to hurt Leapfrog, but I would be kind of curious to know like, could we make Leapfrog powerful? Can he like jump even higher? What does that mean? We'll have to see if we can find out. While well, we are also, hopefully, visiting with Clint pretty soon. Is he open on Mondays? I feel so silly because I just realized today that I could go ahead and like, you know, actually just mouse over things. And ah, look at that. Look at there. Now I know when people open and close, so I, I would have known that, yes, I should have been panicking a little bit because the museum closes at six. <gasps> Wait, we completed Gunther's thing yesterday! Oh my word! D Hi, Siri. Thanks for all the bones. I've got a lot to sort through here. To think each fragment belonged to a living, breathing body from the past. Fascinating. Please accept this unique crafting recipe as a thank you gift. From Gunther. Oh my gosh. Bone meal? Like, mill? Not like meal, like Minecraft meal. You know, like, the bone meal you get from a skeleton that you grind up the bones with and then you put on your crap, like, crap, crops? <laughs> I was trying to say, I was trying to say plants and crops at the same time and it got mushed up. Um, kind of like the, oh my gosh. Turns bone items into fertilizers. That sounds so cool! We need to see what that does. We absolutely need to see what that does. Oh, and hey, thanks, Pam. Energy tonic. Wow, like that's not exactly something to sneeze at right there. Um, do I have, oh my gosh, I do have some bone fragments. So I also have a couple mossy seeds I'm saving to go ahead and um, plant on Ginger Island in the hopes that maybe I can have some pretty mossy trees out and about. I moved the bee houses in here as well to take over there. Um, here's the skeletal tail, because I wanted to see if the bone flute and all of these other bones, if we've turned them into Gunther yet. And if we have, well, I don't want to grind these up, but you know, a few fragments here and there might. Apparently, some really cool, oh my gosh, I could make a skull lantern. I just kind of, I wasn't expecting that. I'm good, thank you. Um, but I wouldn't mind knowing what this does. So let's see, bone mill. This looks like a appropriately interesting item. All right. I mean, I think it's safe to put around the kids. 
Okay. So I'll leave the bone fragments here and we'll come back and see what kind of fertilizer that creates. Cause that sounds really fun. <laughs> We'll have to investigate that in a little bit here. Oh, all right, and let me just tuck away this mm, forage that I collected. There's a crystal fruit, actually. Hang on here. Yeah? Crystal fruit. And then do I have the winter root? <gasps> Ooh, and I already had some snow yams in here. What's the last one that's needed again? Crystal fruit, the winter root, the snow yam. I can't remember the last winter forge crop. The crocus, the flower. Do I have that lying around somewhere? <gasps> I do. What? Yes, so we can go ahead and give our little Junimo something to keep themselves busy and also something to bring in. Some lovely plants to enjoy the seeds in with. Let's see. And I'm, speaking of plants, I'm really sad that my, my beautiful big giant fern tree is no longer up. I I already miss it. Um, and I have discovered that it is not a mistake that we happen to have. Eh, here we go. Grow, little mystic tree, grow! And also I feel really silly because I thought all of the grass was going to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Which is why I was so panicked uh, yesterday. Turns out it didn't. I still could have had time to go ahead. <gasps> wait, I need to go get, I need to go to Robin's place like right now. Oh wait, I don't have my wool on me because it's over on Ginger Island. Ah! Okay, I probably need to go to Ginger Island in just a bit here. Uh, but I was going to point out these moss trees. Turns out I wasn't being silly. I did plant moss trees with the mossy seed. Three different types of trees can grow when you plant the mossy seed and this this is one variant the amazing fern that immediately grew with the very very first one we got that's another variant how lucky were we that i was able to get that like first go oh man i i really can't believe our luck there actually all right so let's see let's go into town we will go ahead and visit with clint to crack these open Mm, and then we will go ahead and see if we've got anything that Gunther wants here. And let's see, it's winter. I need to go get my wood off of Ginger Island so that we can go ahead and have our our deer's little barn upgraded to a deluxe barn. Whoops, sorry, Vista. So that they can be fed. My mushroom trees! Oh, oh the long, the long season of waiting waiting for the greenery to return has arrived whoa whoa be the siri also hi you two i hope you're doing well i'm gonna just grab some of this hopefully i can upgrade that soon for ya yep no truffles in there okie dokie let's see into town oh that's a panning spot why does the panning spot always show up when i don't have anything that i could even use on that that's ridiculous all right well i wonder do i have my panning pan like the copper pan over here i don't i must have already taken it to the island then yeah i must have already taken it to the island well, the good news is at least I've started to become moderately more organized. So, I mean, I had an idea of where I could look for all the things that we were just digging out of here, digging out of there. All right, good. And off we go. Bye, Noodles. Hopefully soon we will be able to see if Noodle Doodles... Oh, Pam, you've got a sweater on too. Cool, just seeing everybody wear their new clothes is really fun. You gotta make sure that you're properly dressed for the cold weather, after all. Clint, you've got a new outfit, too! Wow! Could you open up this golden coconut for me? Banana tree, I like it. And then what about this, like, golden mystery box? Quality sprinkler? <laughs> Artifact trove? I have no idea what that is. Prehistoric hand axe? I am unsure if I've had that before. And a rusty spur, which I have had before. Thank you very much. I hate to say it, but sometimes I'm glad my father forced me to become a blacksmith. At least I have a profession. That's... I'm turning my head and thinking about it. Ah, 
Oh my gosh, Sam and Elliot have new clothes too. Hey, Gunther. <gasps> we haven't turned in this bone yet. And we have a new reward. Oh, we're getting closer and closer to completing the museum. Definitely need to put a little effort into that, but we're getting there. And <gasps> the medium part or the middle part of the sloth skeleton. Thank you, Gunther. That made me very happy. And then while we're over here, I wonder, I just want to see if the sign has any new quest. Oh my gosh, it does. <gasps> Island ingredients. I want to experiment with tropical cooking, but it's hard to find any ingredients. If one, if someone could ship 100 pieces of ginger, it might help. Or a curious substance. I seek an extremely rare and powerful goop known as ectoplasm. It can be found in the remains of slain ghost from Imrasmodius. I want the ginger. I want the ginger. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because that gives me even more excuse. Oh, geez. We need to harvest a hundred of them. Wait, let's... That's a 28 day. Oh no, what have I just done? That's a 28 day quest. I didn't realize that I had to harvest it too. I thought I could just ship it. And I was like, ha ha ha, guess who's sitting atop a big pile of ginger? This Siri. Oh man. Cause I, I think it only grows wild. I don't think you can make ginger seeds. I could be wrong though. Hopefully I'm wrong. Rose stone. Here we find ourselves with a new a new challenge, but hopefully it'll work out. All right, so I don't think we're going to be able to get to Robin with the wood today. <gasps> wow, that's not bad. That's just like free speed grow. Yes, I could technically like make speed grow out of other things, but it's hard to get enough oak resin sometimes. I like that because I think we could upgrade it like in the future to the deluxe speed grow if we wanted. Me. All right, hi kids. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I already gave both the kids some cuddles today. And then we'll put down all of these pieces. And we're gonna put the sloth skeleton for a, a minute. <laughs> that is the question. How about here for just a second? And then miscellaneous things I'm gonna toss in here for a moment and then I'm gonna grab the stuff to take to the island the rice shoots we need to grow this wheat grass so that we can go ahead and make the the um frog guy really happy take all of these things I'll leave one dragon's tooth for future like being able to teleport myself and I guess I don't need to take the mummified bats but yeah, I'll leave him here. <laughs> All right, little frog friend. I think I might have to introduce you to the wonders of tropical living in just a moment here. I'm thinking, anything else that I need to collect? I think this is good. And I just need to get myself over to the island because that's where all the wood is. Do I want to do anything? I already got the blessing from the... <gasps> The dwarf statue. Should I bring that with me? In case I decide to do some mining in the morning. That's an interesting idea. And I wonder if I should bring these copper bars so I can upgrade some of our chests that we have over there. <gasps> I remember now, it's Krobus. That's what I was trying to remember. It's Krobus's birthday. That's why I was kind of like, stumped and like I kept kind of dragging my feet for a minute um like yeah we'll give him an iridium quality void egg why not because it's Krobus's birthday and I I knew I was forgetting something important all right rose stone leapfrog come along we're gonna go ahead and we're going to swing back into you know what rose stone I'm just gonna ride you into town I really should give you a carrot and I can't believe that I have gotten myself like, oh, it's so cute. Is is the town normally this decked out? Hi, everybody. Good morning. Oh my gosh, there's some noodle doodle worms. Ooh, powder melon seeds. Wow, everybody has new clothes on and it just looks really cute around here. I love it. Let me drop this off for Krobus's birthday. Do, 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 do. 
Leapfrog, be careful. I don't think this water is good for you. Crobus means bri bridge crosser in our language. Aww. And Crobus, I'm going to go ahead and get this void essence and from you. And the solar essence. There you go. And then... <gasps> a wizard catalog? For the wizard's private furniture collection? Oh my gosh. Okay, I, I, I don't think I can justify the price of that just now. But there you go, Crobus. Happy birthday. I... I'm gonna have to give that a good solid like think because I would love to decorate more, but maybe I'm not gonna buy the JoJo cat like catalog of furniture. That's for sure. Just gonna ignore that. But I wonder if the wizard catalog might have some. Oh, Mayor Lewis. Well, the fish certainly smells fresh this season. What? Like, and I could get pike bait. I guess. I mean. Should I? I think I'm good. <laughs> it's so much fun to see everybody in their like winter outfits. All right, to Ginger Island, where I shall go and show my frog a beautiful land that I'm only one golden walnut away from being able to invite the villagers to. All right, here we go. Hey, little bird, I know if I could find, trust me, if I could find that last one, I would absolutely give it to you. That's a lot of Omni Geodes. I like that. How's the farm doing? <gasps> Look at everything grow. Yay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and I have all of these new seeds to put down. Oh, happy days. Look at this. I love the flamingos too. They just bring me a lot of joy. Oh, this is wonderful. This was definitely a, a good decision. And then we've got some rice shoots that we can put down. And in just a moment here, I will also see if I can figure out where the heck a doodle do. I left my um my axe and you know all of our hardwood, of which we have a lot, but it's kind of missing. Hey, you little weed. Out of there. <gasps> a journal scrap! Day 37. When I was a boy of 10 years old, my father gave me a glow ring and a magnet ring. They've never left my finger since. However, when I was standing on top of the volcano, a strange idea came to me. I took my two rings and cast them into the forge. Lo and behold, they combined into one. Now I've got one glowing magnet ring. I hold old Poppy doesn't mind, rest his soul. Oh my goodness. I love finding those little scraps. I, I also forget that we can do things like that. Um. But let's put the taro root down. There we go. Oh, wow. I'm just always happy on the island. I would be even happier if the ginger would grow in a ridiculous profusion and abundance. Because, boy, I, I'm not going to be able to get another special quest for a while. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's all right. So let's see. The mahogany trees are growing. And I can leave behind. Let's the ginger. I need to make sure I keep at least a hundred ginger now that I know that yes, I do actually have to turn those in. And we've got all sorts of little treasures that we can put in our house. If I had wood, whoops. I just reached for the wood to make a new chest, and again, there was nothing there. Um I do have a mango tree here. Alright, let's toss all of the seeds in just for a moment so I can kind of sort through everything and figure out what's what. And then we've got some little treasures over here. Ah, oh, my axe! <laughs> there they are! Oh, I can leave this other scythe here as an offering. I'm so relieved to find all of these things. That makes me feel a lot better. I'm just gonna hold on to those just in case we need them. I wonder, because I don't think I need to be here tomorrow morning even if it is tempting to use the the tent and stick around so let me make sure i have the things i would want to take back home with me just in case the mini shipping bin hmm that might be useful for cleaning up like some parts of the farm so we can just ship things that we don't want to be hauling around 
And then I gotta be very careful with the statue of the Dwarf King. Okay, got it. Oh, I'm so relieved. It's just nice to <laughs> make sure that, you know, my almost 300 pieces of hardwood don't disappear on me again. And I may have made a bit of a mess in my pockets, but that's just the way it works sometimes. Let's see. That one can stay here. I guess I can put the honeybees out now because they're ready to just hopefully have a really, really happy tropical vacation home, which I I would be happy with personally. So I hope the bees are happy. There you go, guys. Our little trees are growing. Yay. And then we've got... I need to put the golden scythe over here, I think. Ah, all right. Well, the good news is I got my axe back and all of the wood, so we can go ahead and make sure that the deer have a bigger barn tomorrow. And let me move. There we go. And we've at least started on a very spicy ginger quest. <laughs> I need... I can't believe that I need a hundred pieces of ginger from here. I guess I could ship a hundred now, but might as well just save them until we can go ahead and, and dig a hundred of them up and claim the credit for whatever that quest is. All right. Come along, Leapfrog. I do believe this is a land that would make you quite happy. Uh, oh, and I'll get the wheat planted because I know for certain that at least the wheat also happens to be something that might get us another walnut set because our good friend, the big... Oh! Oh! Leapfrog, you just ate that guy! I mean, thanks! Wow! I should name you, like, Yoshi or something instead. Oh, I accidentally destroyed a mahogany bush. Let's not think about it. All right. That's really funny! Oh my gosh, he just ate another one. <gasps> okay, that would be really bad if it was for something that I wanted the drop from, but he's got our back, you guys! Leapfrog's gonna go ahead and he's gonna eat anybody who tries to, to attack us. I mean, wow, that he went from very big to very small all of a sudden, too. I'm quite impressed at how, how quickly he was able to reverse his size there. I think I'll bring the oranges? I mean, if we're about to go back home... Yes, we'll have to think about this. All right, so whoops, the wheat, the wheat, the wheat. Go back, Siri, go back. All right, so I think the rest of the night really can be spent very quickly planting things here on Ginger Island so that we have them growing in the background and ready to provide plenty of wonderful resources. Uh, also, what does it take to get grass started? We might get some grass starters going too. I might plant that banana, maybe even these mossy seeds, and quality fertilizer. Ooh, where did I leave all of the the oak resin? Hmm, I think I left all of the oak resin, unfortunately, up by the lava caverns, or like the volcano. But we'll see if we can go grab that. Oh, look at us go! I'm so happy! Okay, maybe I'll put that there. In here, in here. I just realized none of that's going to spread where I want it to. <laughs> I was just thinking of aesthetics. Whoops. Huh! We have literally just enough of the fiber to go ahead and get like one patch of the grass going. Oh, I guess there's more over here though. Dang! Leapfrog! We're really able to do a bit more to help out around here than I thought we would be. Uh, let's see. We've got this piece right here. All right. And I would like to get more of the taro root, I think. Uh, oh, I guess I could put some of the taro into the seed makers I brought with me. You know, once I find where I put those two. Oh, just digging up a skull on my farm. That's fine. <laughs> oh, all right, let's get some things planted. There we go. I really need to figure out where I put the oak resin so we can have a nice bit of quality fertilizer put in with everything else. But for now, dang it, now it's already so late. Ah, 
You try to be a really quick stealthy Siri and this is what it gets you. There we go. We'll plant a couple of those mossy seeds. I have a couple more taro tubers and a banana sapling. Definitely want more bananas. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, apparently leapfrog. We're not gonna go as far all around the island as I thought we were. But it's really nice to be able to spend our day somewhere where there happens to be, you know, a lot of greenery and, and just beauty. Let's plant these summer seeds, maybe some of these beet seeds. Red cabbage, because it takes a while. And then maybe we can hurry and I can see if we can wiggle over. Let's see, mango tree, mango tree. Down here. I hope you can grow there, little friend. And here you go, mossy seeds. But maybe we'll see if we can go grab the seed maker before I collapse into a pile and we can toss the taro in there. And I wonder if I can put the ginger in there because that would be really cool. Wow, you know, I felt like we brought more seeds than I could really shake my little like scythe at. But actually we planted pretty much everything except one tomato and a few powder melons. And there's no room. There's no room for anything else. I did not expect that. There we go. All right, well, let's put these away. Mm-hmm. Wow. Wow. I really thought we had more seeds, like that we were just gonna conquer this whole area, but apparently not. All right, well, I can ship the blueberries just cause. And come along, Leapfrog! We might sleep in our tent. Or we might go ahead and just teleport ourselves home. Would there be a benefit to waking up over here? Ooh, the mahogany tree's ready! Come on, go, 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 go! Darn. And then... Powder melon, okay. Checking, checking. Checking, we're just one walnut away from being able. Let's see, the taro root is here again. Hmm. Hmm. All right, go, 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 go. There's that chest, okay. So, aha, I knew it. So we did leave a whole bunch of these pieces up here. All right, so I think we're gonna grab the furnaces, oh, and the copper pan. We were told we could, oh, what if we use the copper pan in the morning and we're able to go ahead and we're able to find the last piece. Okay, that's kind of exciting. I'm gonna go ahead and use a tent. All right, I need to not lie to myself. I just, I wanted a reason to stay. I did, I truly did, because I love it here. And there we go. I've abandoned my family to be a castaway on a tropical island now. That's kind of sad. <laughs> ah, spending the first day of winter tucked away on a tropical island. Oh no, whatever will I do? Mm. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us on our yes, ginger adventures. If you'd like to join us on this and literally thousands more, then do please remember that you're going to probably have a little bit of a heartache and headache over my organization of life. But I do my best. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye